either today or tomorrow, and you'll be able to find the recording of the webinar. Right, so with that, we will go ahead and get started. Again, my name is Tim Turzen. I will be doing the presentation, uh, talking about statements and, and processing them the way you actually want them processed. All right. So before I really get rolling, for those of you who may not know who LKCS is, we're a full service marketing company. Uh, we've been in business since 1961. Um, and, and we have a, a variety of services that we offer um, all of our clients. So obviously we're going to focus on, you know, statements and, and e-statements and things today. Uh, but we do have, again, a full suite of different marketing products uh, that we offer. So if there's ever a need or anything else that you're looking for or interested in, please reach out to myself or any of the other sales reps here and we will be glad to talk to you about any other needs you may have. So what I'm going to really dive into today is, is statements and, and how I feel LKCS is kind of above and beyond um, you know, for our clients and, and for our statement clients especially. All right? So we have over 60 years of statement processing experience. All right? We understand that making you look good <laughs> is why you choose us, right? We want you to look good. Your, you know, account holders don't necessarily know who we are, and that's fine. We want it that way. Uh, but we want you to look good uh, to those account holders so you can continue to keep and get more of that business from them, all right? So we do not offer a one-size-fits-all solution, all right? So you, you've probably heard from other other vendors or whatever it may be here's here's some templates you can pick from we're gonna you know update your branding put your logo on it whatever it might be and that is not how we do things here all right everything is 100 percent customized uh, all the way through so we're gonna completely customize a statement layout specifically for you all right we do customize marketing opportunities that go all the way down to the member level and we'll get into that but I'm talking about actual one-to-one -one marketing opportunities, not just simple, you know, text-only fields. We're talking actual graphics and, and customized ads uh, to, to anybody and everybody um, that gets your statements. We have a fantastic e-statement solution, and that solution is only getting better. Uh, so we are uh, in the process of building a brand new system uh, to hopefully be rolled out, you know, at a later, later date, maybe, you know, sometime early next year uh, is the hope, okay? One of the other big things that we hear a lot from our clients uh, that's that's really unique with LKCS, it seems, is that you get access to key personnel and management at all times, both during and after implementation. So even though, yes, you'll have a dedicated LKCS sales rep, uh, you'll also have access to any of our customer service reps, uh, both of our statement coordinators, uh, and any of the management team that you may need. Okay, so you'd have emails and phone numbers uh, for several people here at LKCS, and we don't do ticketing systems, right? The reason we give you all these people to talk to or have access to, so if you have a question and have a need, you can talk to somebody, all right? We're going to get back to you, whether it be via email or phone, um, typically within minutes, if not, you know, an hour or two at most, uh, if, if everybody's in meetings or, or whatever it might be. But you get to talk to us. We talk to you. It's not a ticketing system, and we'll get back to you in three to five days or anything like that. Um, you're going to get answers immediately. And we have multiple verification processes from the moment we receive a file until the statements leave our facility. All right, we'll go over some of those in detail, um, but we take our time and, and really check those statement files to make sure, uh, you know, the accuracy is there. And again, we're making you look good in the process. Currently, LKCS is processing statements for over 225 clients, but more importantly, we have over 225 statement references to give you. All right, so if you want to talk to somebody, <laughs> we have a reference for you. Uh, and the reason I say we have 225 plus references uh, is I'm confident that each one of our clients would give us a good reference. We do uh, a net promoter survey uh, each and every year. Uh, those of you who don't know, uh, net promoter score uh, is a customer service score. All right, it's a standardized ranking um, where zero is good. Okay, zero is average, right? Um, 
they say anything in the the 10 to 20 or so range uh, is is doing really well, and then anything 30 or above is world class. So companies like Google and Apple uh, and stuff like that are, are in the 30 to 35 ish range. Uh, LKCS year after year scores a 91 or higher. Um, so our customer service, where we say we're good at it, we absolutely mean that. And again, I have all the references to back that claim up. All right, so differences with our platform again everything is customized so when we prepare statements we're going to ask you what do you want that statement to look like right what specific formatting options or styles any other elements that you want to incorporate you know how do you want this to work how do you want the data to flow again it's not just here's a few templates and we're going to slap your data in there and you know logo colors and, and call it a day uh, it's going to be completely customized to you all right so while we will give you several samples, um, you're able to kind of pick and choose what you want. All right. So you can take pieces from each of the samples and, and create, you know, something custom uh, or just start from scratch. Right. It doesn't have to be one of our samples. You can show us something that you've seen elsewhere that you really want done. So statement reformatting, this is something that some people, and it's more and more common, uh, but I wanted to make sure everybody's on the same page here. So when we talk statement reformatting, these two statements that are up on the screen are the exact same statement and exact same data. All right. The one on the left is typically what you would see coming from, you know, a core system. It's that data output. It's all there. It meets requirements, right? Compliance requirements. So nothing wrong with that. Uh, but it's very hard to read. People aren't going to look at that. They're not going to understand that. So the statement on the right is basically what LKCS would do. We take that data that we would get from the core system. We reformat it to make it look better. Uh, we're going to add, you know, those marketing options. In this case, it's in the upper right-hand corner. Uh, we're going to break out the sections, give it different headings, different font styles, you know, move the columns around so it's easier to read, you know, whatever it might be. Uh, so, again, exact same data, but everybody, I think, can agree the statement on the right uh, is much easier to look at and to understand and would be more valuable, you know, to your account holders. So again, flexible statement, reformatting options. These some next two, three slides are just different ideas, different heading layouts, different areas that are that marketing is going to lay in, different uh, summary boxes, uh, just to get an idea uh, of some of the different things that we can do here. All right, uh, full color. If you have not looked into full color printing, uh, pricing is really not that bad anymore. It used to be very, very, very expensive, uh, and that price has come way down uh, in recent years. So if you haven't looked into full color, I definitely recommend it, because uh, as you see, these statements that, that print full color, the information really pops off the page and makes it even easier to read and understand or really brings out the marketing uh, that we would you know place on those as well. All right. <clears throat> we can do any other type of document as well okay so when we're talking about reformatting it's not just statements we could do any type of daily notice any type of you know credit card statement mortgage statement you know a different uh statement file that you might have to produce um you know anything and everything you can think of we can handle uh and, and process and and make it look better um on the back end. So if there's anything else outside of statements, we can we can discuss those things as well. So the big thing that we're going to do with statements is we're going to basically create trans promo statement marketing. And really all trans promo is is a compound expression uh, of the words transaction and promotional. So we're taking promotional you know items, so ads or whatever it might be, putting them on transaction related documents, which are statements, uh, to create unique one-to-one -one marketing opportunities. So these statement ads, which we call on certs, uh, since they're printing directly on the statement, are literally printed on there for pennies. All right, and I'm talking pennies. Statement page costs around you know four to five cents to print uh, on one side. If so, if the ad's taking up about a quarter of the page, it's literally costing about a penny um, for that ad space. Okay, we can send these ads to all of the account holders or 
target specific groups uh, of those accounts to receive one or more of those messages. So we have clients that do one standard uh, and then a separate one that, that is kind of different for everybody. Uh, we have some that have three, four, five different messages and depending on what accounts people have and balances or different things like that. Uh, so again, it's up to you how far we go with that. Um, you know, we, we had one client doing, you know, up to, I think, 60 or so uh, customized personal messages per statement run. So depending on, again, what accounts had what or balances or different things like that, uh, we're sending different marketing messages to these people. Again, you are not limited to those short text only, you know, little message. You got to basically have a tweet in, in the top corner of your statement. That's no longer the case. Uh, our our Pieces can include graphics, logos, fonts, photos, and even personalize the ads, all right? The same technology that allows us to do all of these personalized ads also allows us to do loan payment coupons, rate grids, regulatory notices, and more. Again, all delivered directly on your statement, which would benefit you because you don't have to do a separate mailing, right? We're gonna get it out to uh, those statement holders on their statement, we don't have to send a separate uh, mailing out. As everybody knows, postage keeps going up. Um, so we're saving that extra uh, additional postage by including it uh, with the statements that are going out on a monthly or quarterly basis as it is. All of these ads can be designed by you or we can custom design for you. And of course, uh, we have uh, stock ads that we send out uh, every quarter as well. And we have an online catalog that you could pick from. So a couple ideas of what these onserts uh, could potentially look like on the screen. Uh, the ones on the left are, are more, you know, a quarter or so of the page. Uh, smaller, the one at the top is a loan payment coupon. So again, instead of sending out a book that may go bad if it's a variable rate or people refinance or whatever it might be, we have coupons that go directly on the statement. So each statement month that they would get the next month's coupon, or if they're only getting quarterly statements, you know, the next three months uh, would be on each quarter. So again, it's always up to date. If there's, you know, rates are changing or uh, refinancing, everything's always going to be uh, the latest and greatest. So you're not wasting money on those payment books. And the one on the right uh, is an example of a skip a payment, but it is a larger ad, right? This particular ad would have taken up probably around half or three quarters of the page or so. And you can see I have it blurred out, but we did have, you know, this all personalized uh, with that person's information. Um, in this case, member number and their loan number that we were allowing them to skip. So they just had to fill out a few things, sign it bring it back in to complete that process. We can go all the way up to statement letters. So these trans promo pieces, they don't just have to take up a small amount of space. They can take up a full page or more, right? So including personalized direct mail letters as the first page of your account statements, again, no extra postage. I don't have to do a separate mailing uh, to get a full page piece out, right? Uh, we know that the Direct Mail Association year after year tells us <laughs> letters in an envelope are, are the uh, most effective method of direct mail. So we take advantage of this and we use that, I'm sorry about that, we use that for pre-approvals, uh, referral campaigns, skip of payments, investment relationships, welcoming new accounts you know, to the facility, whatever it might be, uh, you can use it. So here's a few examples of pre-screen campaigns uh, that we do. So while KCS does work with the credit bureaus and we can do pre-approval or you know, pre-qualified type campaigns. Uh, and in this case, these, this was just the first page of the statement. So page two would actually start the statement data. Uh, so again, we can transform these into much more than just normal statements. So with selective marketing um, and with these trans promo options, we can really get into effective cross-selling, right? We're going to target who will receive what on certs or inserts, if, if you still want to do inserts, with a bunch of different criteria. And that criteria can include any account relationship, right? Do they have it or don't they have it? Account balances. So if they have certain balances, um, you know, we can offer them different products or services depending on, you know, what balance they have. Uh, account activity. What are they doing, right? Where are they, are they sending money somewhere? What are they doing with that money, <laughs> right? We can kind of key on that and, and, you know, offer refinance opportunities. If we see that, hey, they're making a, a, a car payment to, you know, Ally Auto every month, uh, potentially we can target on that um, and do a selective, you know, auto refinance on cert. Uh, geography, where do they live, right? Are they close to our branches? Are they far away? 
right? What makes sense? What products make sense? If it's somebody that doesn't live near any of our branches or lives out of state even, maybe we should be really talking about our digital services, right? Our mobile apps, um, how you can do business online, stuff like that. And any other condition that is identif and identifiable within your statement data. So as long as it's in the data, we can use it, right? Or if it's not in the data, if you can get us a separate control file that ties back um, you know, to a unique number, whether that be you know, an account number, or social security number, whatever it might be, as long as we can match it up to an individual person, we can definitely use separate control files as well. So when I'm talking about TransPromo, um, you know, different ideas, people kind of go, oh, how would I kind of use it, right? So to kind of get the ball rolling, here's a few ideas. And this is, again, not everything we can do, but it's a good start, right? New account holders, welcoming people to the institution, right? That first month we see a statement, we can welcome them, a little letter from the president or, or whatever you want, uh, but it's just a unique touch, right? Start, <clears throat> start building some loyalty there. Loan payoff thank you letters. We see when people are paying off loans. Let's thank them for that business. Talk about maybe what, what's next. What are the new rates for a uh, product or service, right? Auto loan recapture. We, we know <laughs> how long they've had these loans. We know that people start looking uh, to trade in vehicle loans, you know, say at the 30 or 36 month mark right in there. So when we see a loan's been on the books for that long, we can actually start, you know, displaying ads. Asking them, you know, here's our latest rates if you're in the market, uh, whatever it might be. Birthday messages. Simple. Saying happy birthday to somebody in the month that their birthday falls in builds loyalty. Talked about the loan payment coupons a little bit, but again, it's a great idea. Um, if you have separate insurance or mortgage or investment divisions, right, that are separate, we can target people for those uh, particular um, other divisions, right? Business accounts, this is common. Business accounts have different needs than your normal consumer. So that entire statement can look different. It can have different marketing opportunities, right? So we can target based on that as well. Um, <clears throat> new mergers or branch acquisitions, all right? So if, if you're buying somebody out or merging in with somebody or whatever it might be, we can target those new account holders. Let them know what's new. Let them know what we have to offer, who we are, all right, or more. I tell everybody, take advantage of these opportunities. Do not let uh, that go to waste. Statements cost quite a bit of money to send out, so let's get our money worth when we do that. Some other options. Uh, envelope back printing. Tell everybody, next time you open an envelope, pay attention to which side you look at. I will promise it is not the front. You will flip the envelope over. You will look at the back of the envelope because you're looking at the flap when you go to open it. That is a large space. All right. A normal number 10 envelope is somewhere around nine and a half inches by four and a half inches. It is huge. We print, you know, ads on the backs of those statements. People will see them. It is very inexpensive to do this. We charge just over a penny per envelope to print these ads. Super inexpensive, but super effective, right? We send out stock designs every quarter. And again, you can custom design or we can custom design. So an example of what uh, our, our ideas kind of look like, again, we do five every quarter. And again, we have an online catalog with thousands of these stock designs that you can use for anything you may need, whether that be, you know, on certs or envelope backers or even other promotions. E-statements. LKCS realizes that e-statements are the future, right? <laughs> we realize that everybody will be switching to that eventually or are forced to switch to it eventually. All right, so everything we're talking about, everything we're doing, all this marketing is just as important on the electronic side. And everything that I've shown you can be done on our e-statements as well. Okay. So one little difference between printed statements and e-statements is instead of inserts, so things that would normally insert in with a printed statement, we display as banner ads on the e-statement side. So these banner ads, which you can have up to six, all right, and these are selective as well. So they can appear for 
everybody or selectively appear for certain groups of people. They can click on those and it's going to link out to a web page with information, a PDF of information, go to a straight to an online application, you know, whatever it may be. Uh, that's how we're kind of doing the inserts on the e statement side. Again, up to six, we can flag them with a little new tag uh, so the account holders know what's what's different, you know, each and every month um, or what's new and exciting to kind of click on and see what's going on. Custom e statement email notifications, right? Everybody sends out that, that notification that the e-statement's ready to view. And it's typically as simple as that. Your e-statement's ready to view, click here. But it doesn't need to be that simple. We can customize that email to say whatever we want it to say. So let's turn that into you know, our e-newsletter. Uh, talk about our latest promotions every month, what's going on, uh, the latest rates, whatever it is that you're interested in, in kind of sharing with those account holders. Let's change it. Let's customize it. It doesn't have to be as simple as click here to see your e-statement, all right? And the big thing with e-statements is color does not cost any more to show on a computer screen. So uh, that's really the only other difference between our printed statements and e-statements is, you know, potentially printed statements would be all black or one or two colors, uh, where e-statements are always shown in full color, okay? It doesn't cost any more to do so, uh, so it makes sense to always show your uh, e-statements in full color. Uh, it just pops more. <clears throat> All right. So some of the other advantages uh, from our system is we allow you to deliver any type of document electronically. Statements, tax forms, account notices, you name it, they can all go electronically. Our e-statements are already mobile friendly. So whether they're coming in on you know a desktop, tablet, mobile phone, you name it, the statements will look good. Okay, we have those customizable and trackable email notifications. We do have optional text message notifications. So if you prefer or want to offer text message over email, we can do that. Talked about the banner ads that can link out to your newsletters and disclosures and all that other type of stuff. Our online retention, you can have it for longer than just 12 to 24 months. We know a lot of other companies kind of, um, you know, kind of stop it at, at you know, 12 or 18 or 24, we don't, right? There's small fees just for the storage, um, but it's very, very inexpensive. Uh, but you can go as long as you want. We have several clients that are at 36 months, uh, 60 months, 84 months. I think we have one that, you know, is a kind of an indefinite thing. We're still building. I think we're a little over eight or nine years now. So it's up to you uh, how long you want that retention to be held, but we have no problem doing it. We allow people to view joint accounts from a single login. So obviously there's some different setup things and some other rules and all that stuff, but it's a possibility within our system that somebody logs in to see their statement, they would also see any of their joint uh, statements as well. So they don't have to log in multiple times to view all of the statements. We allow all of our clients to review all of these statements online before they're sent out. All right. A lot of our clients do it for the first few months and then, then they learn kind of our system and, and they trust us. Uh, but if anybody ever wanted to, you know, review at any time, it's always out there ready for you. Um, so you can actually go in and, and look at the files and do your own checks uh, before you approve, before those e-statements would be posted or this uh, printed statements would go back, you know, and start to actually print and mail. Our system allows your employees to have access to all documents online, not just the people signed up for e-statements. All right, so we actually post documents for absolutely everybody, whether that's a print file, a statement, you know, notification, whatever it is that we're, we're putting out there, whether it's print or electronic, it goes out on our admin platform. That allows your staff, your employees to look up any account holder they want. So if somebody calls in and has a question, you can easily look them up. All right. Other benefit to that is anybody that's currently doing print and switches to electronic, all their history is already there. We already have it loaded. It's already ready. So now they just have access to it. Our system does have a comprehensive user management system, so you can control enrollment, staff permissions, and more. We have a complete reporting system, so you know who the users are, access logs, who's logging in and using the system, what they're doing, email bounces, and more. All right. 
Our enrollment's easy, and again, access to historical documents. And then we have those single sign-on integrations with multiple online banking vendors. So I can't think of an online banking vendor <laughs> we don't uh, work with or, or haven't worked with in the past. Uh, and, and more and more, we're also working with uh, mobile app companies to show you know, statements within the app. So we have several clients that are doing that, and that's not a problem on our end as well. <clears throat> So privacy and security, when we're talking statements, this is a big thing, right? And information security and, and privacy is critical in all aspects of everything we do. So LKCS is SOC 2 certified, uh, but a few other things, I've, I've got a, a piece up here on the screen, I'm not gonna go through all of this, <laughs> um, but, but a few things uh, that I like to kind of point out is number one, our building right? It, it was designed with security in mind. We've been in this uh, facility since uh, 2006, so we've been here quite a while, uh, but we knew when we built this facility um, that we needed to have additional layers of security, uh, so we built that in uh, to the building, okay? So every access point to our facility, you have to have um, a pin-based system. Um, so basically, you put in a code, you have a card, uh, you would put on, uh, we had biometrics, uh, we switched over to, to uh, RFID cards, um, but we have to go basically put that card and enter the code, doors unlock, you can actually get in. So people can't just walk in up the street and walk into our building. You can't do that. Um, and even when you're inside of our facility, not everybody has access everywhere. So for example, um, you know, if I walked over to our data center and put my card to the door, put my information in, uh, the door would remain locked. <laughs> it knows that I don't have any business in our, in our data center. I'd probably end up breaking something. Uh, so they don't just let me in. So, uh, again, building security uh, is phenomenal. Um, one of the other things I like to, to point out, one of the big things, on our statement printing and inserting equipment, we use 2D barcodes, all right? So uh, for those not familiar with 2D barcodes, they're very similar to QR codes that you would use like kind of on your mobile phone. Um, and basically they just store information, right? So we use them on those 2D barcodes. We're basically saying, you know, this is whose statement it is. This is how many pages it is. This is anything else that may need to go with it. So all the information basically for that person, all right? We put those 2D barcodes on every single page. All right, so a lot of companies only do the first page, and it says, okay, this is Tim's statement. It's the, you know, he's got five pages, uh, so it just pulls the next five pages. Well, what happens if those pages got out of order somehow? It didn't look at any other page. It just randomly pulled five pages, All right? So we put it on every single page. So our readers are checking every single page that's pulling to make sure everything's in order and as it should be, All right? And those 2D uh, barcodes then, once that actually, you know, pulls however many pages it is and folds it together, it's in its set. As it goes down uh, our inserting equipment, that 2D barcoder is read, you know, almost every foot or so. Uh, so we're making sure everything's in track, in line, where it's supposed to be all the way through. And even after the envelope, it gets stuffed, sealed into the envelope and flipped. We're taking a picture again of that 2D barcode in each envelope. So not only are we, you know, counting and verifying every single page on the front end, we are actually verifying and taking a picture of every single envelope on the back end. So we have that proof and we can show you that A, every page went through and B, every envelope actually went through the machine and, and was ready to, you know, go out to the post office. All right. So I've got another piece to that um, that we're excited about that we've recently kind of uh, started doing. Uh, so it's, it's our mail tracking. So on top of us using this 2D uh, barcode to do everything internally for our accuracy, we also get information back from the post office, from the USPS, with that same 2D barcode as they scan it through their systems. So we can actually tell you exactly where the mail is at all times and when it was delivered. So I've got some screenshots, and I'll talk about that a little bit coming up. But information security doesn't make LKCS different, right? Most places you would talk to or expect to, to, to hear from on statements are going to tell you about their information security. Everybody's gonna have some level of it. So what really makes us different, right? And what I feel is a big part of what makes us different is our quality control. All vendors are gonna monitor quality, okay? Most of vendors are gonna rely solely on 
automated controls. So they're going to write a computer program to do certain checks and balances. Once that computer program is written, they never look at it again. It just runs. Files come in, goes through that automation, and you know, off it goes. We do not believe that computers can catch everything. And why can't they catch everything? Because a human programmed it. So there is always a level of human error. Um, and everything isn't always black and white. All right. So I can build a program and it's not going to see a gray area. All right. So we have to basically look at things. LKCS has our employees verify quality at every single stage of our operations. Every single stage, multiple people are checking files and looking at things. And what I mean by that is we're checking. Is the correct statement period sent? What's the statement date? What information should be in this file? Do the dates all match up? Is it making sense? Is that file accurate? Not one, not two, but three people are checking that before we process the file. That same information gets checked basically before it's printed, before it's inserted. Multiple people at every single step are checking these things, right? We're looking at the file settings. Are they the same? Are we getting the same type of file each time? Are the settings and the information within the file the same? Are there different accounts, something that hasn't been programmed for? Hey, they, we, we have a new account here. Uh, it's a different product or service. We're not familiar with it. We want to make sure we've got it programmed right. Okay. We record counts that aren't more than 10% higher or lower. So what I mean by that is we are looking at previous statement data, previous statement files sent in, and we're checking, is the document count the same? Is the page count the same? Not the same, but within a 10% variance. Um, you know, if we omitted uh, 100 statements last time, or are we omitting around 100 statements this time? So all of those different, you know, pieces that we're, we're monitoring, we're actually looking. Is it the same or within that same range? If it's not, if it's above or below that 10% threshold, we stop and ask. We reach out to the client. Hey, we see this. Is it correct? We actually check the messages that are coming through from the core system. We're actually spell checking that and looking for grammar. We will reach out if something's wrong. Right? Something stays on there from the previous month, forgot to change it. We'll reach out. Hey, this is on there again. <laughs> right? And then we have that optional mail tracking system to verify delivery and our end of bottlenecks from the USPS. All right, so this is a new system, very, very cool, um, and I'll and I have some screenshots in, a, screenshots in a second of that. Um, but manual procedures, everybody thinks that's that's got to slow you down. That's going to take too long if you're doing all of those things, but they're wrong. This is why our competitors don't do it, and this is why we do do it. It makes us better, right? It makes us better at what we do. So month over month, year over year, um, you know, we do really well on speed. Uh, printed statements are out the door within 72 hours. That's what we, we tell of our clients. Um, and you can see here, month after month, 80% are out within one day. In the last six months, 88% of our clients all mailed within two business days. And we haven't had a client late, um, you know, basically over that 72-hour limit uh, in well over a year. Okay, so again, I can prove that with, with our tracking system as well, but very, very cool information and all that tracking and all the extra um, verifications we do, do not slow us down. All right, so our mail tracker, which is really, really interesting. We can immediately answer questions. Where is my statement, right? You get those calls. Where's my statement at? I didn't get my statement yet. With our system, we can actually check it out. So we store data from the USPS. So we know exactly where the mail is and when it was delivered. So again, that 2D barcode that I talked about, it's showing up in the window of those envelopes. So as it's going through all the USPS uh, systems, we're actually getting information back based on those scans of that 2D barcode. So we can gain visibility into the delivery timing of your statements, minimizing the need to send certified mail potentially. We can provide proof of postal delivery to you or that account holder if needed. And we can identify the source of any mail delivery issues or delays. So if there's a problem with the USPS or they did something, we can see where that holdup is and our staff can reach out 
to that post office for you and help you move that along. All right. So this is uh, one screen just showing individual mail piece tracking. So I can look up individual mail pieces. Uh, I know it's hard to see, but I can basically tell you exactly which date it left our facility, that first scan at the post office, basically where it was scanned, every area that it was in, and then when it was delivered. So again, I know it's hard to see here, but this all on the right, the post office calls it a stop the clock scan. And that stop the clock scan basically means it's scanned at its final delivery location and it's going out, you know, with that uh, post office worker to, to put in mailboxes, right? So I can't physically say they put it in the mailbox, but I know it was on that carrier route or basically in their bag to be delivered, all right? And when we see that, I can determine, yes, that is the date that that mail piece was delivered. So again, we can look up individual pieces and tell you exactly where it is, exactly what happened and exactly when or the day that it was delivered, all right? I can look up summaries. So I know the average delivery days by every single state that any of your account holders might live in, right? Average days to any three digit bark or zip code or five digit zip code and all the information across top. I know how many mail pieces I sent out, how many of them were scanned by the post office, right? How many were forward returned, all that stuff is all there. I can tell you all kinds of information. And then finally, delivery summaries, right? I can tell you exactly again, how many pieces mailed, how many were scanned, how many were forwarded, returned, where's it at, what's the average delivery time, what's the expected delivery time, what's the actual delivery time. And we'll tell you exactly what the post office is doing, what we feel or what they tell us, hey, we're gonna deliver this because it's in this zip code within two days or three days. That's what we say is the expected. So if they're on time or early or late, we track it. And if there's issues with certain zip codes or certain carrier routes or whatever it might be, we can find those issues and then reach out to that again, that post office and say, hey, why does it seem that this is always delayed, right? Month after month. So we can try to get those processes approved for you. So a lot of very cool things uh, with the statement side. And this is just, uh, again, one additional piece to kind of go above and beyond uh, to help you with peace of mind. That is everything I have for everyone today. Uh, so again, thank you for coming. Um, again, I'm Tim Terzin. I'm the Vice President of Sales here. My information's up on the screen. If you have any questions, please feel free to reach out to me. Uh, and I will stay on the line uh, for a few more minutes here and answer any questions that may come in. Again, please type those into the question toolbar uh, and I will get those answered. So again, thanks for joining and have a great day.